Meantime, as you heard, the governor took time to sit down with our own Ronnie Duncan today. Snyder reached out after seeing a story on TV5 about Ronnie's personal struggle living with the water in the vehicle city. Here now, Ronnie's exclusive sit-down interview. I've been reaching out to help people my whole life. Um, that's one of the things I, that's why I wanted this job. A narrative from Governor Rick Snyder that may challenge your perception of him. Many people put blame for the Flint water crisis squarely on his shoulders. Today, the chief executive of our state came to my apartment and sat down with me for an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview. And this is something I do every day. The governor called me, asking to stop by after seeing my video essay last week documenting what it's like for me to deal with the chaos caused by this man-made disaster. Governor, I know this is going to take time. And I think people have to recognize when so many mistakes have been made, is that what it's all about? We have to make sure we do this right. We cannot afford to make a mistake. Well, in terms of people not fully recognizing how I feel about it, I, I appreciate that. A lot of people are angry. Um, and yeah, that's one of those things that's a natural human emotion if you went through something like this. So that's where you just gotta, I, I just have to basically understand that. Some have questioned whether the governor can truly comprehend the human toll in the city, which began with the now infamous switch from the Detroit water to the contents of the Flint River. Well, it's something you wish you never had to go through. I mean, it, it's not a good experience. The Flint experiment has gone so wrong that the attorney general's office has filed criminal charges against three people with more to come. And the Federal Department of Justice is expected to soon announce its findings as well. Regardless to who is found guilty, the governor insists he has already taken steps to get to the bottom of things. This should be investigated. Um, actually, I called for the first investigation myself. Yes, you did. The Flynn After Action Task Force was something I created of independent people, and you can see they're independent people um, from the nature of the report. Um, but again, uh, there needs to be due process in this, so they're doing their reviews, and I support that, and I've been cooperating with them. Today, the governor drank from my filtered kitchen tap as I joined in with him. He firmly believes that filtered Flint water is safe and improving by the day. He backed up that claim by filling up four gallons of water from my apartment with a promise that he will drink nothing but Flint water. The fact you're still drinking out of bottled water is just a rotten answer for your life. And there are a lot of people like, a lot more people like you that are going through that, and I hate to see that. Asking the tough questions on day 738 of the Flint water crisis, Ronnie Duncan from my apartment, WNEM TV 5 News at 5.